We are confused. So we got a brand new Hub 4 Pro. They just came out with these, correct? Correct. Yeah. And we have software that we downloaded from 2022. Yeah, look, here it is. It's, oh, 2020. Oh. Maybe. And longer story short, there is no firmware that you can download to update this. But as soon as we connected our simply put program, it automatically started updating it after we hit the sequence, of course. You have to hold the AS50A in button and turn it on at the same time, and it will do the firmware update. Because we tried to turn this on and we weren't able to get it, talk to our buddy at Midas, which is a great guy. I'm not going to call him by name because I don't want him to get over flooded with other people <laughs> calling with issues. But he said after we do that firmware update that everything should be well and work. So we've got the firmware update going and then we're going to hook it up. And what it was doing before, just in case you guys run into this issue with the Heritage D or the Pro Series, it was just showing up when you just tried to find a device by doing the auto detect. It was just showing up as a generic AES 50, which uh, what he told me is you no longer have gain control at that point. You're just able to get the signal from it. So we're going to go ahead and get this hooked up. We're going to hook up two Ethernet cables to it and see if it auto detects. He said it will actually show up as uh, Hub 4 up here, which is pretty cool. We're running the latest firmware on our Heritage D. We're going to go ahead and hit auto detect. And it showed up as a Hub 4 Pro, just as promised. So now we should have gain control. It actually does show. We do have gain control. I don't even have to really do much to see that. So we'll unlock and we'll go ahead and go to an input source. And then we will see if we have gain. And we do. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Do it again, Tim. Mm. So pretty cool. This is going to allow us to use our Heritage D with having these very easy to locate not having to power it's actually powered over ethernet stage boxes to just make life easier for us so when i talked to him today he said he might actually be able to put in a request where they might can have control of something we've been trying to do where we come out of this port into our traditional blue boxes and get the last couple of inputs in through that which would be nice too so pretty cool. Glad that worked. I think this will be really useful useful for us to be able to put these stage boxes wherever we want to as little mini stage snake drops that have inputs and outputs. And being powered by PoE, that's very exciting. And on the back of both the Hub 4 Pro and the regular Hub 4, you also have all of this very useful, including Stage Connect, outputs that you can use and those we've got on a separate video how you can utilize those too so this is going to be kind of confusing to follow tanner has two microphones in his pocket one of them is going into this dl8 which is going into the hub 4 pro we are coming out with two ethercon cables from the heritage d96 to these two inputs and then we're coming out of this to a wing so what this is allowing us to do is you can basically use this as a 9650 and not have to purchase it or the cards. And it's converting the signal from 96K to 48K, which is very interesting. But what we weren't thinking would happen, and it did, is we have, we can go ahead and talk to the mic that's going into the Heritage D. Hey, Heritage D mic. So our channel two is Heritage local built-in IO. So we're using a 96K channel here He's talking into it and I'm routing out going to the other wing, which would be in the output, which is kind of confusing. And it is showing up over here. Heritage D, Heritage D. And then the other channel that he's got is going into the DL8. DL8. And you can see we have it DL8. as well. And that is also coming over here. DL8. DL8. Our gain control will be from the 96K console. There might be a way to even change that based off what your clock is. An important thing to know is right now this is set to be the master clock. And over here, we have set this one to be wherever it is, synced to AES50A. So pretty cool that you can do this all off of that very inexpensive becoming less expensive everything that we figure out it can do piece of equipment so what this would allow you to do is you could have a heritage d in front of house and you can pass all of that signal up to 48 channels 
to the wing rack or to the wing or the wing compact and have it as a monitor console. All via this little guy here, which is gonna make the 9650 not as useful in between the families of consoles. It could definitely still be useful for converting to Matty or Dante, but pretty nice. So please hit like and subscribe if this helped you. And uh, we will keep trying to throw some videos of things we discover. And if you need any gear, please let us know.